Hi! In the previous video, I talked about distances, estimates, and smoothness. I also visualize distances by drawing points on the screen. Here's a question, though. Can distances always be drawn on a 2D screen? Let's start with a single point x1, which we locate in the center of our screen. Now, let's say we know the distance between x1 and a second point x2. To visualize the distance, we take a compass and draw a circle, where the radius equals the distance. We can now draw x2 anywhere on the circle, and our visualization faithfully represents our distance. For simplicity, let's say we draw x2 directly to the right of x1. Now we continue for a third point, x3. We take our compass again and draw two circles, one around x1 and one around x2. Again, our radii need to be exactly equal to the distances we wish to visualize. Then we can draw x3 at one of the intersection points of the two circles. Let's take the upper intersection point for now. Note how our choice got more and more constrained. We could place our first point x1 anywhere on the 2D plane. We could place our second point x2 anywhere on a circle around x1. For x3, we could only choose between two discrete points. So, what happens for a fourth point? Let's say that these two circles correspond to the distances dx1, x4 and dx2, x4. And let's say that this circle here corresponds to the distance dx3, x4. We need to draw our point x4 at an intersection of all three circles. Unfortunately though, such an intersection does not exist. Now some of you may think, Maybe we cannot draw this arrangement in 2D, but what about 3D? Very good counterpoint. But indeed, this arrangement cannot be drawn in any dimension. To see this, let's shift perspectives. We now see our points x1, x2 and x3 from the side, with x1 and x2 exactly behind each other. Now imagine that we draw a sphere around x1 with radius dx1, x4, and a sphere around x2 with radius dx2, x4, and imagine the intersection of both spheres. From our perspective, the intersection is a circle that looks like this. So x4 must be somewhere on this circle. Now add a sphere around x3 with the radius dx3, x4. You'll notice that the sphere and the circle still do not intersect, even though we are in 3D and not in 2D anymore. If the distance between x3 and x4 would be smaller, we could find an intersection. But alas, the distance is just too large. No matter how many dimensions we add, we can never visualize our distances faithfully. Let's summarize what we found so far. First, we found that we can draw any distances between three points in two dimensions. We also found that there exist some distances between four points, which we cannot draw in any dimension. Still, we needed quite a bit of geometric construction to see this. Can we find a rule that is more direct? Indeed there is, but it requires a bit of linear algebra, so strap in. First, let's be a bit more precise about what we mean by drawing distances. Let's say we have an m times m matrix of pairwise distances. Our task is to find points x1 to xm such that the distance between the points xi and xj is exactly equal to the matrix entry dij. First, let us inspect the distance between xi and xj in more detail. Using linear algebra, we can rewrite the squared distance between xi and xj as a product of xi with itself, minus 2 times the product of xi and xj, plus the product of xj with itself. Interestingly, we can do a similar rewrite for the matrix entry dij. In particular, we can define a similarity sij as one half times the squared distance between i and the first point, plus the squared distance between j and the first point, minus the squared distance between i and j. Why this definition? The trick is that dij now corresponds exactly to sii minus 2sij plus sjj. Take a pencil and paper and recheck this for yourself if you'd like. We can now rephrase our drawing problem. We will be able to draw our distances if we can find points such that the product of xi and xj is exactly equal to sij. So how do we do that? Here we turn to a bit of magic called the eigenvalue decomposition. 
The eigenvalue decomposition is super important in linear algebra and has many fascinating properties. But for our purposes here, we only care about two things. First, the eigenvalue decomposition is a standard function in many programming languages, so we don't have to program it ourselves. Second, it rewrites any symmetric and square matrix as a product, which is exactly what we need. In particular, let S be the m times m matrix of all our similarities Sij. Then, the eigenvalue decomposition gives us a matrix V and a diagonal matrix lambda, such that S is equal to V times lambda times V. We are almost there. We only need one final trick. We now define a matrix X as the square root of lambda times v. By construction, s is exactly equal to x times itself. In other words, the points we were looking for are exactly the columns of x. Check with paper and pencil to be sure. There's only one small problem with this solution. We need to apply a square root to lambda. And this square root only works if lambda is positive or zero. This is the general rule we have been looking for. If lambda is positive or zero, we can draw our distances. But if any entry of lambda is negative, drawing is impossible, at least in the real numbers. Let's recap. We have a general recipe for drawing distances dij between m objects. We first compute similarities sij via this formula here. Then we compute the eigenvalue decomposition of our similarity matrix. Next, we check if any entry of lambda is negative. If it is, we stop, because drawing is impossible. Otherwise, we set our points to the columns of x, which is the square root of lambda times v. And that's it. That's how you draw distances. Thanks for making it to the end of this video, and have fun with all your newly gained distance knowledge. Goodbye.